Welcome to Phantom Brave. We're going to be using the PC version for this walkthrough, but this works with any of the Phantom Brave games, uh, PlayStation 2, PSP. I'm going to briefly discuss the importance of fusion. So, at some point during Chapter 2, you're going to get yourself a fusionist, and they're going to allow you to fuse items to people, items to items, and even people to people. So why bother with any of that? Well, let me show you. First, items to items. So I've got myself this stone cane here. It's, it's okay, I guess. And I've got this, uh, let's find something here. I've got this hungry water can. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Now, you look up there and you're going to see that it says that uh, the stone cane has 392 mana. The hungry water cane, 2 mana. All together, we're going to have 394. Now, if I want the equipment to have slightly better stats, I can do that. If I want my confined stats to go up, basically meaning that any phantom I can find to that item would have better stats, I can do that as well, and that's all going to cost better. I can also decide if I want to have certain abilities from the item I'm fusing into the uh, target. All of that costs mana. You get mana from using an item when you get a kill, leaving it out on the island, and it randomly gets it, or someone like an old guy puts it on there. It warns you, hungry water can will disappear. Alright. Also, the max level of that item went up. So if I want to run over to the handy dandy little uh, blacksmith, We can spend a little bit of mana and level it up. Hooray. But you can also fuse items to people. So let's go ahead and just uh, grab the Scrabbit here. Now Scrabbits are all about that speed. Notice I do not have the ability to increase confined stats or ability stats. That's because you can't combine uh, phantoms to other phantoms. And also you cannot increase stats of a uh, character using this fusion ability. However, my max level would go up. That's not bad. If there were uh, abilities, I would be able to uh, get them at this point. And also I inherit some of that mana. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hooray. We can also fuse people to people, and that's pretty important. I'm going to go ahead and just create someone here. Here we go. So this guy is pretty terrible. His speed is super slow, which means mid to late game, he's never going to get any turns whatsoever. And in this game, speed is paramount. Ash is pretty important. And if I wanted to, I could put healing steps onto Ash or any other character that I chose for that matter. If I did that, every round that he was out, he'd get back some hit points. Now, unfortunately, if I do it in this particular attempt to fuse, I don't have enough mana, so it's not going to let me. I'm in the hole uh, about maybe 3,200. But if I wanted to, I could. And that's just a great way to get some uh, abilities off of otherwise useless character types. Uh, certain, statistic, uh, certain titles make it easier or uh, get you a little better uh, fusion rates. I'm not going to get into that too much. Let's go ahead and experiment with it. I'm sure you'll find something you like. And so as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You can make your uh, primary equipment better. You can make your characters have abilities that normally they wouldn't. And you can also take abilities from one character that maybe you're done with and put them onto a character that you can continue to use. It's really that simple.